today we're going to be drawing these Katuna dolls and then we're going to be using watercolor to color them in. So these are just different um, ideas and you notice they're all different. So um, I'm going to show you how to set it up and then I'm going to let you use your imagination and use the different designs provided to you to create your own Katuna doll. So um, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to start off by using a Sharpie marker. So the first step is to draw a circle for your Katina doll's head. Um, you also wanna be thinking about before you draw the head, you wanna be thinking about um, using space around it and on top so you can add different embellishments for the headdress. So um, I'd say start about here and make your head about like that big leaving room on the sides for the headdress. And then you also wanna be able to um, have enough room to draw the body. So I'm gonna draw the head. Okay, so once I draw the head, then you can go ahead and draw the head also. And then now you wanna think of how you're going to design the head. Um, look at all the different examples in um, the black and white pages that have been provided to you and decide um, how you're going to do it. So here um, I just, you know, did some zigzag designs and then I did this half, kind of this half moon. Here you could do more feathers all around. Um, here um, there's like more realistic type feathers going all around. So look through and decide what headdress you would like to do, kind of mix and match and go ahead and create your headdress now. So these are all gonna be different. I want you to do your own. Pick and choose different designs from those black and white um, printouts, these, the ones that look like this. So just kind of look through and decide what you want to do for the headdress. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this half moon shapey one. I don't have, I didn't leave myself a ton of room. So I'm kind of limited in that. Um, So then once you're done with your design, then we're going to do the same thing for the face. I want you to think about what kind of um, face you want to do. If you look um, in your packet, there's lots of different types of faces. So pick and choose which one you would like, which one you want to draw. Um, you can even, you know, pick the eyes from one and um, the mouth from, the, from another one. There are also some other choices um, on that slide deck. For you to choose from so um, this is more this shape is kind of the basic but there's lots of different options you can do different um, eyes basic details here you guys will be going in in a little bit and watercoloring it so just really like just some black and white designs right now okay so go ahead and work on the face take another minute to get that how you want it you can add details inside um, okay okay so then now when you're once you're done with that we're gonna go ahead and draw the body so for the body I'm just gonna go ahead and come down here for the arms Again, I didn't give myself a ton of room and then um, just come up about here on each 
side for the sleeves. And then you're just gonna come a little bit down farther for the shirt. You're gonna add a belt and then a skirt. And then the legs. Okay, and then once you've drawn the legs, we're gonna draw the feet, which is kind of circles around like this. Um, and then the boots are about like that. Um, so go ahead and do that. And then for the hands, just simple hands. These are dolls, so oh, I didn't get myself a ton of room. I'm just gonna go off the page a little bit, but you would do the same thing on that side. Then you're going to do um, the little belt. You can add some tassels if you like. You can do some different little designs. Um, think about how you wanna do the, mm, my shoulders are kinda high. Um, think about how you wanna do the belt. Uh, there's different designs. Um, if you look at my different examples, I did, there's a lot of zigzag uh, shapes, diamondy shapes. Um, so you could do a bell like that. You could do it plain. Um, there's lots of different choices you could do. So think about, oh, also on this belt, I did zigzags there. So think about how you wanna do your belt. If you do the zigzag, you could leave it like that, or you could fill in the bottom part with your marker. Um, then design the, the shirt, however you want to do the shirt. Um, again, here's some different design choices. You also have um, design choices in your black and white packet. So take a second to see how you want to design your shirt. This guy has high shoulders. That's okay. He's... I'm just gonna kind of stick with this same pattern that I was doing. So then once you kind of design your shirt, you wanna have some kind of design, then you can go, at, go ahead and add some details. Um, I'm just kind of sticking with the same design. Um, but look through the packet, decide what you wanna do. Um, what's fun about these is they're all different. And they all represent different animals, so kind of see which animal you like and which best represents that with the pictures. Um, you could do like a little, so just kind of play around with it. Um, do some um, embellishments on the sleeves. Um, then you can also kind of design, like do some kind of design on the skirt. Um, and then I'd like to do just like a little bit of like shading lines along, but you can also do a little design along the, um, the tights or the, the legs if you'd like. Okay, so there's your, there's one example. Again, there's lots of different, um, Examples, different ways you can draw this little guy, draw your Katrina doll. Um, this one's kind of like an unfinished one, but it had different kind of face. Um, so just whatever you want to do. Okay, so then once you're done drawing, then we're going to go ahead and do the... Um, colors, the watercolor. Um, when you look at the different pictures and designs, you'll notice that they use basically the same colors. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of blues, reds, yellows, um, and some greens. So I would pick about three colors that you want to use. 
Uh, you don't want to use too many different colors, um, but I'm going to stick with the more traditional colors that I see in the Gachina dolls. Um, and then you can also use brown additionally, like for the leather and uh, different parts of the outfit. So like the shoes. So I'm um, going to start, I'm going to go ahead and start with my red. I'm going to roll it around. I'm going to load my brush up with color, get it all kind of loaded up, ready to go. Dab it on here on the a lid if you need to. And then I'm just going to do one thing red. So I'm going to do my whole shirt red. Um, actually, I think I'm going to do like the outline of it red. Um, so I'm going to start with that. And then um, let's go from there. Okay. So then it's pretty simple. And then um, so you're just gonna really just decide like what colors you're gonna use where. So I'm gonna do red around here, and then maybe I'll do some yellow. Um, but really, basically, what I want you guys to know um, is to just pick a few colors. Um, and then if you don't want the colors to blend together or bleed together, make sure you wait for it to dry before you add the color next to it. So I'm going to do this red, and then I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to come back and do my yellow and my blue because I don't want it to bleed in and blend. So I'm gonna do my red. Um, let's see, maybe I'll do this part red too. So for thinner parts, just use the tip of the brush. These are pretty small, so they should be pretty simple to um, paint. Okay, so then it's pretty much about how I want it to be. Um, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna come back and do the other colors. So let it dry and then come back. Or you can also um, just do parts that's not so touching. So if I wanted to do this blue, I would just along up here I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry Uh, maybe I'll do blue hands. And it doesn't have to be like perfectly dry, um, but just like dry enough for it to not blend. I think I'll do the face. So just using those three colors and then thinking about where you're gonna add your brown. Um, see, it's kind of blending, but it's not bad. And maybe you want it to blend too. That's definitely something you might want. Um, so the brown is probably gonna be more like the shoes, maybe the legs. Um, you can use black also in addition. Um, I'm gonna do all of this. I'll do some brown now. So I'm gonna do with the brown legs. And then I'm gonna do this middle part brown too. Brown adds like some earthy colors, earthy tones.
Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up. Make sure you get in all those little crevices, add those details. Um, I think, and then I'm just gonna let this dry, like I said before, and then I'm going to add the yellow. The yellow's lightest, so. See, I didn't wait long enough, but I actually kind of like it. Okay, just make sure to get all the parts. I'm gonna do the shoes black. And then one thing before you guys are finished, also this might take you a little longer, I'm just kind of going through quickly. Um, don't forget to sign your name at the bottom. Artists always sign their work. And I hope you enjoyed making this Gachina doll. And I can't wait to see the different and unique um, dolls that you guys make.